Hey everyone, good morning. Hoping everyone's doing well. If you are running the London Marathon, which by the time I post this video will be tomorrow, I'm pretty sure you've already put in your work, put in your little light jog for today, and you're getting ready for the day. Now for me, tomorrow will be my last long run of the training block. I am officially done with a taper again as of tomorrow, and I will be commencing with race week at the Newport Marathon next Sunday. And something that has recently occurred to me that I thought about putting out a brand new style of videos. And I was kind of curious on your thoughts that if a running vlog would be something that would be interesting to you as the viewer. Uh, these videos would contain essentially a shorter duration, but it would allow me to post more frequently. And it wouldn't be nothing that would be prepared in advance. These are simply just spontaneous thoughts that I would have. Uh, whether it's in between the run or on the run itself. So just let me know in the comments if that's something that would interest you. And so speaking to that, something that had just been on my mind for already for the two, last two or three weeks is the taper itself. Uh, last video, I was talking about what to do, what not to do, how to focus on for an effective taper, sharing with you my experiences and what I've learned from professionals. But now I just want to go and share with you my thoughts on how the taper is affecting me. So if I do today's run and tomorrow's last long run exactly to what's prescribed to me, I will hit exactly 475 miles to the training block, which would equate to an average of about 40 miles a week for the last 12 weeks. So the first thing that I have to really resist myself from doing, especially during the taper, is that while your mileage is decreasing, you have more time in your day to let your mind wander about all sorts of things. And you can fall into the comparison trap pretty easily about how people have been doing, how many miles does somebody peak, and so on. So I wanted to avoid all that. Just looking purely at this training block, I didn't want to not compare myself to others, but especially not compare myself to prior training blocks to see if I have improved as if as if for running 475 miles in 12 weeks compared to 460 or 480 is somehow deemed better. Because it's not, I mean, it's really, it's really indicative of how well your training has gone, how you graded every single workout, especially your quality runs. Running 475 compared to, I'm assuming, another 475 the previous block, I'm at a higher level of fitness. Or at least I like to assume I am because as of today, I'm 100% healthy, 100% confident. Taking aside things that I cannot control and just focusing on one things that I can, I'm feeling pretty good. And you might already know there's no sidewalks here, so I have to kind of take breaks in between cars. What's been on my mind a lot lately is the taper crazies. Uh, we all have them, or at least most of us do. We're just trying to figure out what the heck is happening to our bodies while we're supposed to be recovering. And that's the interesting thing about our bodies is that while our, our mileage is decreasing, our bodies are finally absorbing all the pain and punishment we've been putting on for the last 12 weeks. So if you feel a little bit more tired, because I have, if you feel as though you, you're somehow getting sick, like you're getting a runny nose or throat or, or just anything, don't think too much about it. It's just essentially your immune system has been fighting and fighting and fighting all the stress. And now these last two or three weeks, it's, your immune system finally has a chance to breathe and to relax. So that kind of lowers the guard a little bit, but you'll be fine unless you have any adverse effects or adverse symptoms. Mainly these three weeks is to focus on recovery. So as I mentioned before, do not go to the gym because you don't want to add or introduce any new stress to your body. You want your body to absorb the stress, to know what your body is getting ready to unleash for a full 26 miles because most likely in training, the most you've gone is probably 17, 18, maybe a couple 20s, or even like, a, let's say a 22 miler. 
tapers the taper period is usually a time where I feel really relieved that's that's here because I get to finally put my foot off the gas so to speak and just relax from training but at the same time it's just a it's a moment where your brain can really be a detriment to what your body's trying to do so just kind of keep those in mind uh, I got about a few more days to go and in a little bit I'll get ready to uh, show you the video on what to pack or how to pack effectively for a race. So I hope everyone liked uh, this different kind of dynamic, different format of the video. So let me know if this is something that you'd be wanting to just kind of see more from. So that way it's not something that's been rehearsed or edited to a certain level. You kind of just get the, the pure thoughts of me. So just let me know that's something that winters you so that way it's not simply just once a week but potentially I could uh, put in a few more frequent videos per week as these would be a little bit shorter. So I'm almost done with my run. I'm gonna try to avoid traffic as much as I can. So I hope everyone's doing good. Take care everyone. Continue to dream big. Continue to work hard, even if it's a recovery run like today, and make the impossible possible. Have fun, and see you on the next one.